Everybody. Thanks so much for watching the latest video from downtown Bellevue. I have some thoughts, so I'll share them with you here. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you'd like to see the photos uh, in a little more detail and larger size at your own convenience, I've left a link to those photos on Flickr as well in the description down below. 
So for today's photo thoughts, I'm going to refer back to two photos. So we're going to jump over real quick and take a look at those photos and we'll talk about them. All right, so we're going to start with these photos of the uh, the construction workers. And uh, as you can see, they spotted me and they were glad to pose. Actually, as I was working on these photos, they uh, said, hang on, hang on, we're going to do this thing and we'd love to get some photos of it. And they also uh, gave me their, their phone numbers and I sent the photos to them. So they were pretty excited about that. So it was just kind of a neat opportunity to to do something a little different, to have an interaction with the people I'm creating photos of uh, and to have them be really excited that I was making photos. So that was uh, kind of a fun and unexpected surprise. So you never know what's gonna happen when you're out and about with your camera and it's kind of fun. Uh, the second photo I wanna talk about uh, was also a, you never know what's gonna happen when you're out and about with your camera, especially it seems like this always happens or maybe it's when I notice it, is when I'm almost done. So when I was just about done with the photos, getting ready to walk across the street back to where my car was parked, I, I turned around, and I try and remember to do this, is to turn around every once in a while and see where I've been. And uh, I noticed this uh, bird flying really, really high. I thought at first it was a bald eagle, uh, but then it kind of disappeared. I got across the street and I turned around again to see if it was still doing its thing. And it was, and what it was doing is as it was flying, uh, it was landing and it went and landed on uh, one of the very tall buildings in downtown Bellevue. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna get the 70 to 300 out and we're gonna make a photo of this uh, bird on the building uh, up top on the high rise. And before I could even take one or two steps, it did its dive and it, it wasn't an eagle. I'm pretty sure it was a falcon or something like that. Uh, tuck the wings, dive, going after some kind of prey. And what was so cool about that was um, that I got to see it that I got to see it. And what's fun and one of the most special things I think about photography is in freezing time, in pausing the moment, and in noticing it in the first place, oftentimes, like in this downtown Bellevue, there's probably 10,000 people down there at that time of day, maybe more in all the buildings and everything. But I was probably the only person that saw this bird doing that. And that's kind of cool when you think about it, at least it is to me, that we each have the ability to notice something that maybe no one else is seeing, and with a camera in hand, we can say something about that moment, we can notice that moment, we can, we can preserve it, we can comment on it, we can create something new out of it. Ah, it's just a great gift, at least to me, that I really appreciate about photography. One more thought I have is thinking ahead. And I've been thinking a little bit about uh, being in ruts and how I, I know personally I don't want to create the same photo. And I was thinking, well, wait a minute, think about all the other art forms where we repeat view or we, uh, especially musicians, where they'll play the same song over and over again in concert. And I, I don't, I mean, I know some of them probably get tired of playing the same song, their hits and whatnot, but they play the same song and they, they still enjoy it. And I was thinking each one of those times they play it is different. So even though a lot of times when I'm walking around Bellevue, I'm making similar photos, everything's different. The atmosphere is different, the light's different, the time of day is different, uh, the structures may be different, the people will certainly be different. And I'll be different. I'll be in a different place, a different human being than I was even, let's say, a week ago. So what I'm thinking to do next week is I'm going to go back to downtown Bellevue. The weather looks promising. And do pretty much the same route I walked this week and see what I see differently and or the same. So uh, I hope you join me again next week and uh, see what I discover or rediscover and maybe make same or similar or different who knows? Uh, I'm really looking forward to it, though. I think it'll be something interesting to try. So again, thanks so much for watching. I hope you're out there having fun creating photos. You're trying new things. You're discovering about yourself, about the place where you live, the places you experience, and you get to do that with your camera. So thanks for doing that. Also, uh, I forgot to mention this, obviously, maybe, but uh, if you have thoughts or comments, suggestions you'd like to add to this conversation, please leave them in the comments below. You don't need my invitation, but I'm 
uh, want to make sure to leave it out there as well as a reminder. Uh, also, if you like this video, please click that thumbs up. It helps a lot. And if you would like to see more like this, the subscribe button will help you do that to see this uh, videos similar to this show up in your feed. So until I see you in that next video, now that you've subscribed, I hope uh, you stay safe, stay well, and have fun creating photos. Bye for now.